Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this video where I want to show you how to use the Fly-by-Wire A320 mod with FSI Panel 2020. This aircraft doesn't use the standard offset and this is why we had issue in the past. Now we have a walk-around that will show you how to use it now as well as a new feature showing you FSI Panel instructions without using the flying tips so that makes your life easier for the people that don't like to have these flying tips all around the place when you fly. All right, so let's go to the cockpit. I just loaded my uh, fly-by-wire A320, nothing else to be done here. So I am ready to set up my approach. So let's go in FSI panel and let's select Zurich runway 14 and we will try first a vector and we will see what is new. So I have Zurich runway 14 left hand vectors and we will click on move aircraft. All right, so now when the aircraft is positioning, what you have to do is engage autopilot and engage auto throttle. Now you can see that we are at 4,400 feet. This is on purpose. We are now 700 feet above the target altitude. So if your vertical speed is engaged, which is the case right now, just select a lower value to go down to your target altitude of 3,700. If for any reason you are in altitude hold mode, just select your vertical speed and go down to 3,700 feet. So right now we are positioning our aircraft and this is the new feature as well. As you can see, we have this box on the top left of the screen right now, which is the uh, box showing you FSI panel instructions. And this box can move, move sorry, anywhere you want on another screen even. And I can go on my secondary screen or I can keep it in the middle of the screen or I can put it wherever I want. FSI panel will save that position and you will always have that box at this position. So now you don't need anymore to have the flying tips enabled to see the message. All right, I will just acknowledge the ATC instructions there. All right, acknowledge, and now we should be fine. All right, so now, as you can see, we only have here the parking brake on on my um, ACAM, so I'll just turn the parking brake off and we should be clear. All right, so now, as, we, as you can see, the aircraft is ready. We are 3700, we have altitude heading mode, aircraft is stable, and we get the message, aircraft ready, IRS frequency is 111.75, and the course is 134 in Zurich on runway 14. We get an advice here to synchronize the heading and the speed on autopilot panel. As you can see, even though we are flying the right heading here to intercept the ILS 14, the uh, mode control panel doesn't have the right number here. So what I will do is simply synchronize that number. If the aircraft turned, it doesn't matter. I will just go to my uh, heading of 165. And now the same thing with the speed. We want the speed at around 205, so we can go to 205. All right, so now this is done. And now we can set our frequency or we can program our FMC. Both are possible. I will show you now how to program the FMC. If you want to do the approach in Zurich several times, you can do that. So we just go to init. We have from two. We don't need to put any uh, different airport on the from uh, page. So what I will do here is I select Zurich and Zurich. Just that our uh, MCDU knows where we are and where we want to fly. Now we'll put a cost index we'll select the cruise altitude. So the cruise flight level for the Airbus, as you can see now, we are at 3,700. So what I need to do here is enter 37. That's it. Flight number doesn't really matter. So yeah, we don't need. Then on the second page, I'll just put my zero fuel weight and CG. Right, now if I go to the flight plan, I have Zurich Zurich as expected. So we'll just click on my destination arrival and I will select ILS 1.4 and now if we look in the screen in our uh, map display MFD we can see that we have the approach there but we should put a direct to Osnam so on the Airbus if you put direct to a point automatically you will engage nav mode so you need to be ready to um, you need to be ready to go, uh, to go manage again 
uh, select sorry on the heading when you, you don't want to fly the approach immediately or the other option what i will do now is take control and then go direct osnam all right so now my fmc is set we can see as well here that i'm missing the destination data so if i go to perf and i go to the approach phase we have the q and h right now the q and h is 2977 Yeah, temperature was 4 degrees. Okay, and we we'll put the minimum at 1610. And now we can activate the approach phase. Right, so now if I push ILS, I have the correct frequency. I will select auto brake low and now we are ready for the approach so how do we take control now on this aircraft this is something new as well for the fbw fly-by-wire a320 mod if i use the brake i will not take control as you know so how do we do it now switch beacon light off to take control so i will switch the beacon light off you don't need to put it back on fsi panel will put it back on for you and as you can see you have control so now basically i'm in control I can go to my direct to Osnem and I can arm the approach and now we have nav mode to Osnem lock and glide slope armed so everything looks good and we will try to go in uh, manage okay this is something I still have a big issue with the switching on this aircraft how do we go manage or select all right finally so i go to a manage mode and as you can see it's working as well we have the speed reducing to our flap one speed so to the s bug let's see if that works and we have localizer and glide slope arm i could even arm the second autopilot as the weather is not very good and yes it's working perfectly so I have to say that uh, Fly-by-Wire did a beautiful job here with the mod. And the intercept looks very nice as well compared to the uh, Ezobo version where you start turning on final two miles before the final track. So here everything looks good. We can see that we are getting established on localizer. Glide slope is alive. So what I will do now is go flaps two. We have glide slope captured. We'll put Mr. Approach altitude 4,000 feet. Let's go gear down. On the speed brake. Let's have a look at the light now as we have gear down. On, on, on. Take off. Perfect. And this was on. So we are all good. Flaps three and flaps four. So now we are getting to our V approach, runways in front of us. And we need the seatbelt sign, which obviously was not on. And 1000 feet. All right, back uh, with you, 400 feet, we should get the uh, land mode. Yes, land. And let's see how the auto land works on the fly-by-wire A320 compared to the Azobo. Everything looks correct there. Minimum contact landing. flare and we have the retard and we are on the runway perfect all out mode is engaged use a bit of reverse and we will disconnect autopilot all right so that worked uh, nicely. I will just stop here and we will see um, 
the landing report shortly and then I will uh, try to put myself on a final approach. All right, so let's have a quick look at the landing report, long landing, all right, slightly long, it was 718 meters, deviation from center line, not bad with the uh, automatic landing and the speed was all good. Okay, so now we are on the runway to show you what happened on the final approach. If we want to put ourselves on eight miles final, for example, I will retract the flaps. So we will see exactly what's happening with FSI panel. I will put down the spoiler. For the rest, we can leave it like this. And now we will select our approach on a long final. Or let's make it even on a short final in Zurich. Short final. And we click move aircraft. So when I click move aircraft, the first thing you can see, the flaps are moving to full again. And FSI panel is waiting for the flaps to be set to full to start your approach. So we wait for that. Remember what we have to do, engage autopilot, auto throttle, once we have the control. So let's see. Now we are in the sky. So what I do, autopilot, as soon as possible, auto throttle, right? That's done. Now you see my lever climb, so I need to go to climb here. Climb. Now we look at our target altitude, 2,400, I'm at 3,000. I have a rate of descent of 400 feet per minute, that's good enough, or I can increase it a little bit. And now we are going down to our target altitude of 2,400 feet. The speed looks correct, we are flaps full. My spoiler is arm, I will select an auto brake. And FSI panel is now waiting for your aircraft to be at 2,400 feet. So we are getting close. You can increase your rate of descent if you don't want to wait too long. And then we should have the control. So once we have the control, you can see that my nav setting is already done here. I'm established. And if I want to program my FMC, I can program it again. Or if I just want to fly the approach, I don't need to do anything. I can just arm the approach and fly it down. So we'll try that second option now. As you can see now, we are good at 2,400 feet. We have the message that everything is ready. If you want to set your frequency, sorry, your, your ILS frequency and your course without setting your all FMC, your all CDU, what you have to do on the Airbus, you go to the RADNAV page, and this is where you will force the frequency. <clears throat> so for example here 111.75 I can force it down 111.75 and I will put it here and the course is automatic to 134 if you don't have the right course you can change it here and this is how you could basically fly an approach without setting your MCDU all right so now I'm ready to take over the control everything looks good so what I will do remember switch my beacon light off and now I will get the control, as you can see on the screen here, you have control, I am my approach. We get the localizer captured, glide slope is armed, glide slope will be alive. If you want to use your second autopilot, you can use your second autopilot. Now be careful of one thing, if you don't set your MCDU, you see the speed here? The aircraft is basically flying the right speed, but the speed window is wrong, so it's better to synchronize that to avoid any surprise on final and your speed dropping to 100 or to the uh, dangerous area. So just put your approach speed there and that's about it. Now we are fully stabilized. We have, as you can see, the landing checklist is done. And this is how we can fly now the fly-by-wire A320 with FSI panel 2020. I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And if you have any comments or any questions about this new uh, mode and uh, problem flying it, please drop a comment below and I will answer your comments. Thank you, and as always, safe landings.